What's going on, traders? Welcome back to Start Swing Trade. Let's start taking a look into the market. It seems like it's one of those days where it's the chop and the chop continues. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit choppy probably until we get this CPI report coming out on Wednesday. And of course, that comes at 8.30 in the morning. So you know that things might be a little bit choppy until that comes so we'll take a look at the market today let's take a look at the spy spy seems like it's trapped between this kind of hourly range where we could come back down towards like 437 435s but i don't see too much changing here until we get cpi report kind of a little bit of a choppy land we'll see if we ever come back here towards this 444 i think we could go back up there one more time before we kind of determine what we're going to do in this pattern so be careful out there, shorts. I feel like at any moment we could see a move to the upside here. And today we're definitely getting some upside in some areas. We'll talk all about it. We'll take a look underneath the hood. We'll look into the rotation, where the money went, where the money came out of today. And it looks like the money coming out of communication services today and utilities taking a little bit of a pullback. We'll talk all about the action. You guys in the chat, let me know what was your top trade of the day and any swing trades that you guys have on right now. Let's go to my swing trade action. I have three stocks right now. Let's go to XOM. XOM coming back here to 104.65. Want to see this close below 104.40s today. As we did take some profits on Friday, do want to let you guys know, didn't have the show, but I had to take some profits as we went back down there towards XOM, uh, towards that 102. And I felt like, you know what? Near that 102.16, uh, I had to at least pay myself because if this comes back and stops me out, eventually, of course, we added up there at the 108s. We originally started this position all the way back here uh, on uh, July 3rd. So it, it's been a pre uh, June 3rd. It's been a pretty long time, almost longer than a month now um, into this position. And that's what I, I've been doing. I've just been kind of hanging in here on this XOM. Uh, Chevron, of course, we took all the money off uh, when this came was, was coming back up there to 157. It's also just hanging in there right now. So I'm going to take a look to see if this finally breaks down. But if XOM comes back up through, let's say, 106, I'm just going to take the money and run because this probably just comes back to 108 and stops me out. Right now at 107.92 is my entry average, of course. I've taken some profits before was up there towards 108.50s. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at the other trades that I have on. I do have BJ, of course. I've talked about this one for a while now. Will we get up into this gap space? Of course, we drew this on July 5th. Uh, BJ Wholesale Club. Of course, we saw Costco's numbers. They weren't the worst. Let's take a look at Costco today as it catches a little bit of a bounce uh, after recently pulling back, this is one that I want to see continue strength, right? I don't want to see it come back all the way to, let's say, 515s. Would love to see it get up there towards the 550s, and that would make a nice little move there for BJ. Of course, BJ trying to play a little bit of catch up after recently getting wrecked in May and June, going sideways all June, now getting out of the trend in July. We'll see if this one can close the gap. I'm not looking for a move up into 75s, not a move back up here. I'm just trying to close this gap and get up there into like the 68 handle. I'll take that and run. We'll see what happens. Let's keep taking a look into the market in a second. We'll take a look at what happened today. Last one that I want to talk about, of course, is my swing trade on Deer. This one looking good here. It is holding on, but could break down at any moment. I do have this one from 401.61. I actually added to this one as I was closer towards that 401 on Friday. Uh, so taking my shot right now, we'll see what happens with this one. It did come up towards the end of the day. Going to look for this one to keep going. Um, I have a decent amount in this one. Um, normally I don't open uh, positions on the swings this big, but that's just because uh, deer, I have a good feeling that this could get a nice little uplift towards that 417. It's hung on here on the daily. We'll see if it takes the next step up and takes that charge forward. 
All right, let's go to the stocks out there. Spy, Qs. How's the Qs doing right now? Qs essentially red right now. We're going to see this if it's going to start making that move up and getting a lift here towards the end. It was red all morning, but holding the one hourly chart towards the 365s, just slightly below 364, 60 seems like it was holding up there. We'll look to see if we get the stocks to come back, stocks that are strong today that I'd keep an eye out for, like AMD. Not looking too bad there, so keep your eyes on the stock like AMD. See if it goes higher. Zscaler getting a nice little lift. We talked about Zscaler with what stock? We talked about Pan W just last week. We said if Pan W could keep going, be careful for a move on the upside for Zscaler, for CrowdStrike, names like that. Pan W getting a nice little lift out the gates. Pulling back now to that 247. Going to keep an eye on it, but it's not looking too bad on the day. Let's go to CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike getting a nice little lift there to 150. This one's starting to get the lift, of course. ZS getting a nice little push higher today. That helped CrowdStrike get going there. So keep your eyes on these. Now they're starting to get a nice little push. And I think these could continue higher, right? We'll see what happens to these CrowdStrike, uh, CrowdStrike names, Zscaler. And for that mention, did Snow get the lift today? Wanted to see if Snow got the push up. And there you guys see it, a red, the green, and Snow. This is one I'd keep an eye out for, for a nice little recovery back above the 170. And maybe a move right back towards 180. So we'll see what happens there in Snowflake. Of course, Zscaler getting a little bit of a push today in the queues. So that's why I'm bringing these up right now. Of course, we could take a look at different sectors and industries. Let's go to that. Then we can kind of take a look at any kind of major leaders on the day. Of course, I like to work backwards, not forward. We don't need to be looking for stocks. We need to be looking for what industries and sectors are rotating into the market and taking that net next lift higher let's go ahead let's take a look at what we see in the market today time to catch up with you guys in the chat what's going on jenny easy mike raz what's going on out there eks how we doing what are you guys taking a look at money coming out of the fang stocks says eks we'll take a look at the fang stocks <laughs> raz says money coming out of my pocket more like it yeah it was a tough day i'll tell you the truth guys i was super choppy today I was going from green to red, from green to red, from green to red, from green to red. I felt like I overtraded today, and that's just, it sometimes happens, but it's just because it was just choppy land. And when we're having this chop, expect it. It's sometimes going to happen, team. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other action there. Wasn't Kava the new IPO in the food group? Yes, it's the new IPO. Uh, got several upgrades today, but what it was was it got initiation. Uh, EKS. So today was after the analysts, they kind of get this quiet period, quiet period done, a bunch of analysts come in and give it an upgrade. And that gave it a little bit of a lift there on Kava getting up there to the 4360s. And sorry, I didn't mention it on pre-market prep. I had it on the list, just didn't get to it in time. All right, let's keep going. We'll get into some other action there. Money Mitch, it's hard to trade AMD uh, talk, dude. Yeah. Uh, AMD is a hard one there. Um, we'll see. It's hard to talk, trade and talk. Yeah, trust me. Very hard to do both. All right. Well, it's what's what's up out there, Matt. How we doing? It's good to see you in the chat. Always with you, Raz. No worries. Hey, it happens to the best of us, man. We're all gonna lose money, and especially on days like today, it seems like you're just kind of giving it up. This is why we need to know what when to hold them and fold them as day traders, when they hit the brake pedal and when to just gas it. This is the determining factor a lot of the times between the day traders that make a lot of money and the ones that are battling that break even. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other action. Uh, AMD is a <laughs> is an asshole. I'll say it for you, Raz. I'll just say it clearly. It's an asshole. I got you, man. It, it sometimes happens. Jenny has the call. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. All right, let's take a look at the market here. Let's go to healthcare, the leading sector to the upside today. And let's go look in here to see what did well today. You guys can see from the open, biotech's getting a little bit of a bounce back. Let's go to the top name biotech's because, of course, there's some smaller ones that are getting the lift here. Moderna getting a little bit of a turnaround look here. Now bouncing strong off that 120. The monthly chart is your friend right now. And that's what I'm seeing on Moderna. Can 120 hold? If that doesn't hold, 
next leg lower. Of course, you could take a look at, like mentioned in the chat, me, Marky, right? XBI, you can take a look at that, right? Biotech ET, ETF, right? Or you can also be looking at IBB. That's another way of taking a look at the biotechs, right? Kind of sideways action right now off of that. But if you take a look, Amgen getting a little bit of a bounce. That's not a bad one to take a look at. Now it's starting to bounce back, has held a nice little pullback towards this 230s. Now can start climbing its way back. It's just has pulled back significantly. Same thing for Gilead. Gilead pulling back all the way into the bottom of this flag. We'll look to see if it starts coming back here towards the 80s and starts working its way back. This one doesn't look too bad there also. Regenron back down to 700. Will this one hold? BIB. One to keep an eye on, right? Biogen back down there to 280s, getting a little bit of a bounce. We'll see if these biotechs can actually hold and continue towards the upside. Right now, next sector to look at is next industry to look at is medical care. Medical care up there uh, about 1.7% for the industry. Uh, you guys can take a look at some stocks there. HCA, uh, FMS. These are names that we've been kind of keeping an eye out for. THC was one that I talked about that this one could get going with dimensions that were mentioned from UNH. And now it's starting to really get the lift off through that 80 up there towards 82 today. Be careful there, but definitely think the hospital stocks could get the lift based on that UNH mention. UNH has been coming right back down since that mention. It did come back up, but really quickly coming right back towards the 460s. We'll see what happens there. Diagnostics and research stocks getting another lift. Dexcom is one that I've been talking about for a while now. This one has been pretty strong, and I feel like it can continue going higher. Now another move up above the 130s. I'd be looking for pullback slightly below that, but not a bad-looking stock here on Dexcom. DXCM, I'll look to see if this one can keep climbing higher. DHR. TMO is one that maybe we could keep an eye out for, but definitely best of breed right there. DXEM, not looking too bad right now. Of course, uh, there's some major healthcare plans. We've talked about those. UNH, we'll see if those can keep pushing. Uh, Cardinal Health starting to pull around uh, since a, a big run as of late. ABC, look how this has been just continuing to push there uh, since June. This could actually pull around eventually and start pulling back. It's been a big run there in ABC. Of course, drug manufacturers also continuing to run. We'll see what happens with names like this. Uh, we can keep an eye out on Amgen coming back here, Gilead, uh, Johnson & Johnson. Will those kind of get the lift right back up there? We'll keep an eye on it. They have been pulling back as of late. Pfizer kind of getting a little bit of a lift today, but no, no name that I want to come close. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what else is going on there. Let's get out of healthcare. Let's go to the industrial sector, an area that I've been calling for a while now as one of the strongest areas in the market where people just aren't looking at it, right? They're just missing the trade. And I feel like this is a very good trade to kind of keep an eye out for. This is why I liked airlines. Look at that airline rip. That's continuing to go higher. Still missing this trade. I'm a little upset. I sold it early. Delta. Uh, we'll go through the three again, American, and of course, United were the three that I was looking at. And I tried to get love for a while, and I sold it too early, man. Should have just held the trend as long as the other airlines were going higher. And we talked about this one down at 33s. It's up there to 38 now. Just like we talked about also JetBlue as maybe being an opportunity there at the eights, now up there to 927. That's what it's all about, team. Try to find the plays like this that can continue going, and we'll make a killing. We'll find out what happens there. Smart money knows something in healthcare. It's going to boom. Something to keep an eye out for, Beans. We'll have to find out. All right, let's see what else is going on in the industrial space. Can, uh, we got some different stocks moving around. We got metals moving around. There's not really much in here that I keep an eye out. I try to keep an eye out some of the bigger names, of course, like Deer, uh, Caterpillar, names like that. We're going to look to see if those can close really well. Would love to see Deer close above 407, and we're making that move right now, especially a move back up above 409s. We're looking great there in our Deer trade. Uh, cat is another one you guys can take a look at, of course, to see that one continue going through the 250s. That comes right back up to the 250s. This is going to be looking pretty good for a nice little push right back up to maybe around 260s. We'll see what happens there in cat.
ITW is one that I've been watching for a while. This one could keep going and going higher. We'll see what happens in diversified industrials. Honeywell, Honeywell, the one that we talked about from 200. Now up there, right back towards 207.70s, something that I'm watching on the monthlies. This is one of my favorite monthly charts, and it's holding pretty. We'll see what happens there in Honeywell. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other action there. We talked about some industrials, basic materials, getting a little bit of a lift today. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Looks like they got a little bit of a lift today. We'll look to see if those can continue getting a little bit of a push. It did get a nice little turnaround look there today on silver. So we could take a look at different stocks. PAAS maybe. Uh, you can look at an AG or maybe you like Mag, uh, Mag Silver. There's a couple of here that you guys can keep an eye out for. Let's see how gold is looking. Gold starting to get a little bit of a bounce. AU is one that I really like. That one's already pulled back to 2015. We'll look to see if it's able to catch a little bit of a bounce and get back up there. All right, we'll get out of gold. Lumber, wood production still doing well. Building materials continuing to stay strong. That doesn't look like it's going to turn around anytime soon. And steel actually holding a little bit of a pullback. That's actually something that I'm going to actually keep an eye out for now. As we hold that pullback, I'm going to look for a wicked move right back to the upside. We'll see what happens to these names. Can they start to push? Steel Dynamics is one that I'd keep an eye out for, especially if it can get back up into like the 107s, 110s. Uh, I'll keep an eye out on Steel Dynamics. All right, let's keep going. If you guys got stocks you guys want to check out there, throw it up in the chat. Honeywell's been killing it with the air purifiers. I'm sure. I'm sure the air purifiers are getting a lot of buys, especially anywhere that has some smoke issues, right? That's not what you want to be hearing. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what else is uh, making moves there. Aluminum also staying strong. So it looks like we could get a little bit of a lift in some specialty chemicals. Coal is one to keep an, an eye out for. Will that continue to lift higher? AMR lifting up a little bit today. AREC lifting up a little bit. I'll keep an eye out on BTU to see if we actually get a big run. Uh, BTU, got to set an alert above 22s now. If that makes a move tomorrow, we could see it push a little bit higher there. Peabody Energy, anybody? Hmm. Do you guys remember trading Peabody? I used to trade it often. Smash the like if you guys have traded uh, Peabody before, BTU. All right, catching up with the chat. What's going on out there? What are you guys talking about? KLAC. We'll get to the technology area. Google and Penn definitely saw the casinos moving today. Let's take a look at those in a second here. We're going to technology stocks there. Now we can start taking a look there. You wanted to take a look at KLAC. Uh, Wally. And really, what is KLAC? Well, that's going to be part of your semiconductor equipment stocks, equipment and materials, right? Let's take a look here at the high capitalization stocks, of course. L uh, KLAC, of course, KLAC there is a semiconductor equipment stock here at 468. And then you can take a look it was a nice day from some of these leaders that were in this space. Also, it wasn't just this stock. ASML getting a little bit of a bounce back. AMAC, a little bit of a bounce back. RCCX, LAM Research. And then, of course, you got KLL, KLAC. There's some other ones that we can keep an eye out here to see if they start getting a lift. But I would definitely kind of keep an eye out on that ASML to see if that can continue pushing. Of course, this seems like a little bit of a pullback, a little push up. Not really the biggest rally, but definitely some strength there in the semiconductor equipment stocks today. All right, let's keep going. We'll catch up with the chat. You guys keep talking about some different names. Is, isn't BTU a serial killer? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, man? All right, let's keep going. That's BTK, Raz. Come on, man. <laughs> Raz, I always love you in the chat, man. At least you keep me honest, man, and definitely catch it up. All right, let's see what else is going on. Easy beans, always. Beans and rice, baby. The only way. Let's keep it going. We'll take a look at some other stocks there in technology. Of course, what do you see here? Technology pulling back, but staying strong. So, by no means do I think that the trend is completely broken. I mean, look at AVGO. AVGO making a nice little up move here. And looks like it wants to continue going. We'll see if it can get there towards 900. This one getting a nice little lift off today. Going against the trend. 
We'll see what happens there. Adobe is one that I've been looking at today. I actually tried to get it earlier today at 490s. I think this one can make a run above 500s. Mm, we'll see what happens there. Nice little pullback on the day right now. Nice little pullback into like kind of the 292 or 293 area. Won't be looking too bad there in Adobe. We'll look to see if it gets that next move up to 500. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what else is going on. Uh, and I see someone in the chat, uh, knowing how it was like to live in college, mystery man. I used to live on beans and rice when I was in college. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, mystery man. And in college, man, just, just feeding yourself is sometimes a battle. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what else is going on in the market here. Of course, with technology names, I did see solar get a little bit of a lift today. ENPH leading that rally. And it was a rally. It was indeed a rally. So catch your eyes on that move. That gets me a little bit more worried about my XOM trade. I could take the 3% and run today, but I'm going to leave it alone. But right now, definitely first solar, a move right back up through the 192s. SEDG back up to 266. Just be careful. The solar names haven't given up. And there's some of these that could come right back up. Canadian solar just got a nice upgrade recently. We'll see if it gets back up through the 40. DraftKings got pumped all weekend in ads. Well, where what ads were you watching, man? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. DraftKings not turning around right now and continuing higher. Uh, but one thing I'll say is definitely the casinos were hot, too. Look at Penn. And we're almost to my yearly trade that I take in DraftKings in some gambling stocks, which is the NFL trade. We're almost there, guys. Jenny just said hit 100% on DraftKings return. That's what I'm talking about. I actually have a friend on that has DraftKings from $10. I'm like, man, that wasn't a, a, a bad little area to get it. He has it in there like kind of the 10, 11s. Oh, can you imagine? We're up there now almost to 30s. This is looking pretty good. We'll see if DraftKings can keep pushing. Win getting a little bit of a lift there, right back up there towards the 106. We'll look to see if this can come back up towards the 110, but definitely a hard bounce today in the resorts and casinos as these were starting to come down. MDM with a nice little push higher towards 45.24. Uh, we'll look to see if this can keep pushing. I think this is all signs of what? Recession going away, recession concerns. Be careful if they come back, but right now, MGM looks like it's setting up for another move higher. We'll see what happens if these casinos can keep pushing. We'll find out. All right, Caesars, another one that I'd keep an eye out for there. Nice little setup here for this to push higher, especially if we have a nice little day two in the casinos tomorrow. Well, keep an eye out for a nice little move above 52.13, somewhere in that area. We'll see if Caesars starts to get the lift. Where's the Lions and Caesars, right? We'll see. Can it start pushing towards the upside? We'll see. All right, let's keep going, team. We'll take a look at some other stocks in the market. Let's keep going. Let's go to some different names. Of course, gambling stocks de definitely got the lift today. So watch out there, and we'll look to see if some of these can keep pushing. RSI, you still exist? Man, I remember I used to look at this stock. Got to push today in the $3 space. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other names. Home improvement stores. Home Depot. What's up with you, Home Depot? You're going to keep going? Nice little pullback here towards around the 303s, 300. Now pushing right back up. Of course, we played this up on the first move up higher, and now it's pulled back and continuing the strength. This one could keep running. And, of course, in the consumer cyclical area, but I think this one has some legs here. Lowell's also... Uh, low getting a nice little push towards 228. We'll look to see if this can keep going through the 230s, but not bad stocks here. Home improvement store is getting the lift. Lodging, lodging, lodging. Who was talking about lodging just last week? Well, you guys know it. Money Mitch, of course. That's who was talking about lodging. And what was I talking about? I was saying, well, look at the airlines. Look at the cruise lines. Why not? Pick up the lodging stocks. Well, let's take a look at them, see how they're performing. What were stocks that we were looking at? We were looking at Marriott, Hilton, Hyatt. Those were the three that I talked about. Talked about Marriott being the leader. Look how that continues higher and through the highs. Look at that push. 
almost a nice all-time high there for Marriott. We'll look to see if that can keep riding higher. Hilton, also one that I talked about, was off of this trend line. We drew this. When did we draw this? We drew this on June 30th, updated it on the 6th. Now we're towards the 10th, watching this continuing to rise, right? And then if you take a look at Hyatt, Hyatt was in this kind of symmetrical triangle down here, now really taking off here towards the 120s. And I talked about that that probably would go ahead and help Airbnb go higher. Airbnb now towards 132s and looks like it could continue pushing higher. These all sound great. And to tell you the truth, I think these lodging stocks could keep climbing higher. So keep your eyes on it. Hilton, Marriott, those are pushing strong. Hilton almost back up there towards this high up here. We'll see what happens once it gets up there. But who knows? Maybe these really start getting the legs going and lodging stocks really starting to push. There's a couple other ones you guys can keep an eye out for. Uh, Winham is another one that just started to get going today through the 70s. I feel like this one's just playing catch up to the move in the industry. And so I could see this one kind of playing up here towards a longer term trend. If you go to the monthlies, you're going to see it really cleanly. You can see it here. This stands out to me that it could come right back up here towards these levels, maybe up there towards 76 on Winham Resorts. We'll see what happens there. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. C3, it's pumping, says Boba Plays. We can take a look at C3 AI. Of course, uh, C3 AI of uh, getting a nice little lift after recent kind of downturn. I think a lot of this is that a lot of people are trying to start thinking that you're going to start seeing a quick downturn in tech, and that might not be it, right? Let's take a look at NVIDIA for that example, right? NVIDIA is kind of holding on here on the 420s. But to tell you the truth, if you take a look at the daily, it does have a support line underneath here and could come right back up through the 430s, right? Doesn't mean it needs to break here. And if anything, if it holds this bottom trend line, doesn't come back through 420s, I could see it coming back up through 425s, 430s. So watch out there in NVIDIA. We'll see if this can continue to climb. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look here into the queues. And man, what a move today in B Day. I am definitely getting a nice little uplift there. Nice to see it at 64, 62s, 65s, first profits. Get it up there. We'll see what happens there. All right, Deer. How's Deer doing here? 407s, looking for that to keep going up and keep pushing towards the next level. Let's go to Consumer Cyclical. We've already talked a little bit about some of these names. We've talked about some uh, lodging stocks, the leisure stocks. Be careful. When will these cruise lines turn around? Because, man, they've stayed strong. And I think at some point they, get, uh, they give us a pullback opportunity, but it hasn't been now. Carnival up there towards 1927. It's been what a ride. But what do I see a lot of? I see a lot of topping above 1920s. So be careful. We've tried to get up here multiple times. Now making about three highs in a similar space. Not what you want to be seeing if you want to see the continued momentum. So at some point, I think we get a pullback opportunity. The only question is when. All right, the cues overall. Let's take a look here. Now we're starting to come down a little bit here. So starting to get a little bit weak. We'll, fee we'll see what happens here towards the close. Seems like we can't get above this kind of 366 area right above it. We'll see if we get back towards 367, but definitely battling there in the queues. And starting to get a little bit weaker, but still not broken, but definitely PayPal with a nice little move today. We'll see what happens there. Square also. I, tr I trade these side by side a lot of the times. Square recovering there makes PayPal look a lot better. And look how PayPal gets up there to 6913s. Look to see if this gets into the 70s and starts to close some of this gap above. There's a nice little gap right here in PayPal. Let's see if it can get above the 70s and starts trying to close that up. All right. I have way too much PayPal. Better go at some point. Yeah. I, I mean, it's PayPal, man. And uh, I think in the long run, I, I think, you know, I, I don't think PayPal is going to be as strong as it used to be just because there's a lot of different alternatives. But could it come back up into that space? Yeah, it could get into that gap. We'll find out. All right, let's keep going. I hear PayPal short ETF PYPS was closed today. Hmm, maybe that was what happened there and helped it get to the next level. Uh, Boba Plays wants to take a look at your thoughts on C3, bro. Your prediction, 
I think it will go to 80 soon. Well, honestly, I can't predict for you, but 80 seems like a little bit of a reach. But let's take a look here um, and why you would think maybe 80. So if you think that it's coming back here towards the left-hand side, there's one thing that you got to keep in mind, of course, is that the stock has downtrended since pretty much it's, it's opening, right, since it's IPO. So that's something to keep in mind with AI. Now, can it take that next leap up? Yeah, it can make a next push up to 45 and 50s and maybe even past that 50, right? But where's the next level from there? Well, for me, I can see the next levels coming up here into this resistance up there towards like 55. Then from there, next stop there could be maybe 67s. But to get all the way to 80s, I mean, that's a huge move. That You're talking about a move up into this support. That's that's pretty ways away from here. So I don't think I'm going to go ahead on a limb that much and say that it's going to do that. But could this be kind of a wave A, a wave B, and we're in the C wave right now? And now we just got the D wave. Now we can get this last hurrah to the upside? Yeah, I could see that happening. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dow Theory. So take a look into Dow Theory and how that could work. So I think that I would call this kind of the A, B move and then the C move higher. Then as it pulls back here towards kind of the 30s, it was like 32s. That's you're going to go ahead and get your D pullback. Now you're looking for your E liftoff again. And it's usually not going to be as big as this liftoff was. So it's usually going to be a little bit smaller than that liftoff on the next move. And that's why I don't think that you get to the 80s, but doesn't mean that you can't get another push higher through that 50. We'll see what happens there in AI. And take a look at Dow Theory. Maybe that can help you understand a little bit more on these types of stocks. Does it mean that I'm right? By no means, but we'll see what happens there, Boba Play. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other action uh, to see what other stocks are moving in the market. All right, let's go to the SPY, of course, and we can take a look at what stocks led that. And it seemed like the SPY was holding up today, even though some names were coming down. Generac bouncing right back up there towards the 140. So, of course, this is a uh, Mark Chaikin play. He talked about that on pre-market prep. If you guys didn't catch Mark Chaikin, he was on pre-market prep on Thursday and talked about this particular stock. We'll see if it can keep climbing higher. Of course, I've talked about uh, kind of uh, EMPH, Win, MGM. We'll see what happens to names like that. See if they can keep riding higher. Etsy bouncing back a little bit today. Eh, nothing that seems really interesting to me there. I do see that kind of getting another lift up. All right, let's go to some of the down stocks today. Defensive names getting into the red today. So Brewers starting to turn back to the downside and tap that was kind of climbing the wall. And I'm going to call it kind of the, the Bud Light wall because it, it definitely didn't seem like it wanted to turn around for a while now. Now showing me a head and top pattern here and so i think that this could come right back down here and you could start to see some of the gains loss here come back in tap so does it mean that it's taps broken no but i could see it pulling back here maybe right back into the 50 moving average first stop there is 64.35 and then from that it can maybe fill this gap right back again 60 68 we'll see what happens there in molson cores if it starts to really break down and really pull back of course ambev um, we'll see how that one kind of performs, see if this one can keep coming right back down. And then Bud, we'll see how Bud, if that keeps getting a, a hit or does it find a little bit of a bounce or will the whole industry just start getting hit because of uh, concerns about recession? It's something to keep an eye out for. All right. Anyone looking at the rotation into solar? Yeah, Carmen, I, I was I, I talked about it. It definitely seemed like a strong one today, a strong move, at least in ENPH. We'll just look to see if the others can kind of follow. First solar back to the 200. And yeah, you're getting back that trend. I think an important thing is going to be looking if oil can make a run. It's kind of crazy, but when oil makes a run, so do the solar stocks. They are energy, right? We'll find out. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what other stocks are making moves here. Uh, defensive names, not really an area that I look at often, but I do see discount stores up, up here. So we can talk a little bit about these. Uh, BIG, Big Lots, I've drawn this chart. 
Now it's gotten up above the 932s. Looks like a kind of a head and shoulder pattern that just got back through the neckline. Now this looks a little bit better to play on pullbacks. Big lots. We'll look to see if this can keep going. Ollie was one that I talked about that this could get going, right? These are the type of stores that I think could get the lift here. Now Ollie starts to push. It got up there to 67 today from the 65s. We'll look to see if it can keep going to 70. BJ's is one that I'm trying to play here on the pullback. Dollar Tree also, can this get the climb right back up and maybe try to fill this gap eventually and climb higher? These are stocks that I kind of look at, especially if we're going to stay in kind of a high inflationary environment. People and more people, I feel like, are starting to really go for the Dollar Tree options than your kind of classic options. Uh, D Dollar General is kind of the one that I would say, uh, not liking the chart as much. It's falling off the cliff a little bit too fast too much. Walmart. Walmart's one that I'd keep on my eyes because I feel like this could continue going higher. As long as, especially as Target goes lower, I could see Walmart continuing higher. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other stocks action. If you guys are taking some swings or looking at them, throw them up. I got no problem taking a look at it. Solar has been picking up over the last couple of weeks. We'll see it. Um, I think that it, it's definitely a little bit of both, but uh, as folks, uh, either about eroding profits, this upcoming ER, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of earnings that are definitely going to be important, especially as we start getting into the big earnings next week. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other action there. Defensive names got hit. Utilities getting hit right back down. Um, so names like Duke, names like Excel Energy, right back down. And it's crazy. I remember at the beginning of the year, still trying to short Duke at 105, looking for that to turn right back to the downside and come back to this 90. And it took a long time to get there, but it's been a good trade there in Duke short from 105. <sighs> Just missed it. I remember it got up there through that 105.50. It went to 105.70s and then stopped me out at 105.60s. So that's how it happens sometimes. Square, I already kind of took a look at it. Kevin, if you want, rewind. When you see PayPal, you'll see a little bit of a mention of Square. Square for me is one that I actually bought on the move out, out of the 6130s. I sold mine at around the 66. It's up there to 68. I think it could get to 70s, maybe 72 to close the gap. But from there, I could see a little bit of a pullback. Not a bad outlook if you can get it into that 70 handle and get to the 72. All right, let's keep going, team. You guys smash the like out there. It's about 3.55. We got about five minutes left here, about a little less than five minutes. So keep throwing up those tickers. If you got one, now's your chance before we wrap up the market, of course. All right, let's take a look at what's going on in some of the trading action. I want to take a look at XOM. I want to go to the oil stocks here towards the end to see if they're going to drop off here. We'll look to see if it closes right back below 10460s. That's what I talked about. A move right back below that. And I won't be looking too bad here towards the close. We'll look to see if it comes right back tomorrow on XOM. All right, let's keep going. No worries about that, Kevin. I just want to help you out. That way I don't got to go over a stock, you know, three or four times for everyone in the chat that was here a little bit earlier. And I always like to let you guys know, just rewind it. I definitely covered it for you so that you can go ahead and check out that outlook. All right, let's keep going. Google stock mentioned here. Let's go take a look at Google. Uh, Google's been on a kind of a little bit of a crack here on the daily. And I think this is important, right? Now we're really starting to break trend here towards the end. And that's where we got to keep an eye out to see if NVIDIA breaks trend. Tesla pulled back today, but it's holding the 9 EMA. And that's going to keep me not getting into it short. So I think that you have to be careful here shorting too early because I do think that we're going to get a turn in the market, but it could take a while, guys. And one thing that you're clearly seeing is just look around you. Look at the short action. The short action comes down fast and wicked bounces back to the upside. That's where you get stopped out a lot of the times out of your trade. So if you do get that nice big whoosh down, a lot of the times I'm seeing right now, the pattern seems to be is take those quick profits, right? Versus look for the continuation move lower, lower and lower because you get these quick bounce, it stops you out. And then the stock actually goes lower overnight. 
That's where we got to be a little bit careful and we got to do what? Got to give ourselves enough room there. So if you can't give yourself enough room there, what do you got to do? You got to downsize, downsize. So just be careful out there, team. We'll see if we can continue into the green. Like always, we're going to keep battling. Swing trades overall, all three of them deep into the green. I didn't open a new position today because it just seems like the spy is kind of playing choppy. And if the spy is going to be choppy, the market's going to be choppy. Well, then we're going to see choppy action in the swing trading action. So I do what I do what I keep my positions on here and I try to go ahead and work them and work them a little bit higher. Right. Expand the profits. But if they start to turn and the market starts to go against me, XOM back above 106. If I start to see BJ's back below 64s and not being able to hold that 64 after we get above that. Well, that will clearly give me the sign to take the money off the table and head for the hills. Like always, you guys can catch me at MoneyMitchBZ on Twitter and at MoneyMitchBZ with an underscore on threads. If you're not using threads already, what are you waiting for? All the Twitter people are, it feels like it, they're leaving or at least on both. So I'll see you guys on thread, Twitter, or right here, of course, on Benzinga. Smash the thumbs up. I hope you guys had a great day today. Check out pre-market prep tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern. We start up with that. And if you haven't checked out live trading, what are you waiting for? Live trading starts every day at 9.05 Eastern. And I'll see you guys, like always, bright and early. Stay safe out there and go for the home run derby. My man, Randy Arozarena. Of course, uh, I'm going for Randy. Last year, I went for J-Rod. I want J-Rod to get to the finals because it's going to be in Seattle. We'll see what happens. Catch a little home run derby action tonight. Oh, man. Nothing like uh, seeing some home runs. You guys have a great one. That's going to be the bell today. Be careful out there, team. We got about 30 seconds left here for the bell to kind of hit here. And what do I see immediately? I see NVIDIA coming back up here. And that just shows me, be careful out there, team, because this bubble, it can still rise stocks. And I have this feeling we could still see some stocks kind of rise out of here. Uh, one that I'm thinking about taking a swing here is Oracle. And you know what? Let's see if I can get it here. I got it there, baby. Woo! Three seconds to spare. I'm taking a swing on Oracle here, team. We'll see what happens there. I'm seeing that get a nice little pop there. Been waiting for that to get back above the 114 and give me some strength. Saw all that volume come in there, so I took a little bit of a shot. We'll see what happens there. I got 114.38. We'll look to see if Oracle can keep climbing up. NVIDIA is one that I'll keep an eye out for. I want to see if that can keep climbing tomorrow. And just be careful because I know that we've gotten some downside action. I know the bears are out there. I mean, I know I'm one of them sometimes. But we'll see if we really get the downside action or not. And be careful. Because this AI bubble is a real bubble. And I think that this could still drive stocks higher. This bubble is going to pop. But I think it's going to take some earnings reports, some really bad tech reports for those that pop to come. And right now, I'm not seeing it. And any upside action in some of these early earnings reports could get us pushing higher. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. Stay right here on Benzinga. And of course, let me know. What you guys need to hear more of, who you guys want to hear from. If there's a stock that you guys want to hear from right here on Benzinga, I'll definitely reach out. We'll see you next time, guys. Pencils down is right, my friends. And we'll see you bright and early on pre-market prep.